Hey guys, Jaden here from Line of Sight, along with our sponsor, Broken Egg Games, and we've got a question for you. Has this ever happened to you? Alright, so here's the scenario. You have cleared a path to your enemy's warcaster, you've made them stationary, you've lit them on fire, you've got a fully loaded heavy ready to go, and all of a sudden, you realize something. That pesky fire eater that you were so proud of yourself figuring out that assault angle is now in the way of your dire troll mauler. And that's a problem. Your opponent's super gracious, they're very nice, they'll let you reset to where you were, and you try to make that charge again, but there's another problem. The other fire eater is now in your way, and that opponent's caster is safe as houses. In the crushing black oblivion of your self-loathing and disappointment, you ask yourself a single question. Could I have done anything differently here? What would I have needed to do in order to ensure that I won this game? And then it hits you. Man, if I just put a proxy base down where my mauler was going to go at the beginning of the turn, I would have moved my fire eaters out of the way, and this would never have happened. And right now, my mauler would be chomping down on some yummy, yummy durst. Here's another scenario in which a proxy base might have completely changed the outcome of a game. Considering the following scenario. You need to score one control point to win the game, and all you've got to do is kill that Gorehound with Kolgrima, who's barely inside of the threat range of it, run your Glacier King into the zone, and you're golden. Your fair and balanced Fire Eaters murder that Rattler, because they're fair and balanced. Your Glacier King runs into the zone, and Kolgrima moves up, vanishes, and throws a spray at that Gorehound, only to discover that you didn't account for that wall, man. You're out of threat range. If only you'd thought to use a proxy base, you could have made sure that Kolgrima was inside, and once you found out she wasn't, you'd use your fire eaters to kill that Gorehound, you could control that zone, and you'd win that game. Not convinced yet? Well, I got one more for you, and this one's got more real life consequences than the other two. You got a friend who makes this sweet terrain, and it's really cool looking, it's three dimensional, it's got all these bits on it, and you're playing with it, and Dozer and Smig decide that they're going to charge in and clear that zone and be the heroes of the game. You prop them up real carefully on those other two models, and then disaster strikes because your dice roll hits him a little bit, just a touch, and he goes tumbling off of that piece, and all those hours of painting you spent, and the blood, and the sweat, and the crying, and the endless hours just go to waste as a big piece of his paint job comes off. <laughs> Sorry, where was I? Don't worry, that picture was staged. I laid him very gently on his back. I would never ever ever put a model in harm's way like that. Anyway, it has happened to me though, and it would have easily been prevented if I just used a proxy base to represent his place on the table and put my very pretty model right next to it instead. Why am I talking so much about proxy bases? Well, there's two reasons. First of all, there's this weird stigma in a lot of war games where if you use proxy bases and other precision tools, you're taking the fun out of the game. You're being too hardcore. And I just want to point out that, you know, there's some legitimate uses for these things that you might not have considered. Um, they will help you play the game and not screw up and not get frustrated with yourself and your opponent when you make poor decisions because you didn't use them. They will also save your models from horrendous, awful paint rending death. The second reason is that Broken Egg Games has a sweet special going on right now where for every $10 you spend during their 4th of July sale, you will get a free proxy base. And this proxy base will be a random color and it will be a random size, so 30, 40, or 50 millimeter base. And it will cap at 6. However, if you do spend that $60 and get those 6 free proxy bases, you will get 2 smalls, 2 mediums, and 2 larges with your order free of charge. And then you too can use them in all the different ways I've described here and in many others. Proxy bases have a myriad uses. So from all of us here at Line of Sight and from Broken Egg Games, thank you so much for watching this video. Give Broken Egg Games' 4th of July sale a look. It'll be running from July 4th through July 13th. And get your proxy bases and use them. Later, guys.
So from all of us here at Line of Sight and from Broken Egg Games, thank you so much for watching this video. Give Broken Egg Games this 4th of July sale a look. It'll be running from July 4th through July 13th. And get your proxy bases and use them. Later, guys.